Welcome to episode 9 of Making Max Cash, starting with a twisted bow. Firstly, I would like to say a very big happy holidays to every single one of you. I hope that you all had a fantastic time with your loved ones and family. I'd also like to say a personal thank you to all of you for checking out my content and for the continued support. In today's video, I plan to check out The Revenants. I haven't been here since the beginning of the series, and I hear it's changed quite a lot. But before I do that, I'm going to get myself 2,000 total, which we're only 20 levels away from, to unlock the 2k total worlds. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get 2,000 thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And before today's video begins, a quick word from today's sponsor. You can now play Raid anytime, anywhere. Play from your desktop. Or from your mobile. There are 10 dungeons, every one containing a unique tough boss, each requiring a specific strategy to beat, with a fully voiced story spanning 12 locations, 13 unique factions, from dwarfs, orcs, and the undead. There's a faction just for you. Over 460 unique champions, more than 200,000 active clans, and over 25 million players worldwide. Not to mention unlimited customization and endless strategies. You can play the game however you like. When I first log in, I always check to see if I have any ancient shards and try my luck at a legendary. God knows how I got the first one. It must have been insanely rare. With any of the leftover champions I get from the shards, I sacrifice for the greater good and level up my dark elves, which I find the fastest way to level. This month, Raid has their biggest ever update, with the main event already released, the Doom Tower. A giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously bad ass bosses to take on. And to help everyone get started in the tower, Raid are giving away a super special champion, Bulwark. What a menacing name. However, he's awesome in clan bosses, and he's also going to be a huge helper in the Doom Tower. So if you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description. You'll receive Bulwark, an XP booster, 50 gems, energy refills, and even an ancient shard as soon as you get into the game. Collect your rewards here in the inbox for the next 30 days. We have ourselves some dart tips, some feathers. I'm going to go do myself a little bit of winter tots, and I'm going to be doing fletching in between the games. No idea how many levels this is going to get me, but I'm guessing probably 83 maybe now that we have base 80s i think the loot's gonna be significantly better and wow first one and we already got ourselves an upgrade nice maybe i spoke too soon oh wait did i just get full pyromancer oh my oh that's really good sweet we actually have the full set now i don't know if you get boots from this do you get boots you do get boots okay we're one piece away we just got two pieces we needed from those few crates nice wait it's first level of the day 81 fire making 81 fletching nice 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 duplicate i wish you could trade these for a piece that you don't have totally missed the level there we go 85 fire making we can now use and create an infernal wax we're becoming a proper little skinner right now and that is 13 levels to go i'm gonna go do myself some smithing so i'm gonna go buy myself some gold ore with all of the cash that i have and hopefully these are gonna be some fast levels we are 13 levels away 83 smithing we can now make ourselves adamant claws one of the most useless items ever this is gonna be the final fletching level i think we're gonna be getting 83 fletching oh i've become such a skiller 4,000 wines 85 calcan 800,000 XP, 1993 total level, seven levels remaining. I have discovered the best cooking spot in the entire game. I had no idea this even existed inside of the Myth Skills, the bank and the range right next to each other. I feel like a caveman discovering fire for the first time, but look at this. I don't even have to exit the bank. I can click straight through the big level 90. Four levels remaining. Wow. We got 10 levels in cook in this video so far, my goodness. And it's time to go and invest in some bones. 2,000 total has been achieved, and we've got ourselves level 84 prey. We can now access the 2k total worlds. First time logging into the 2,000 total worlds. As you can tell right now from the gear, we are about to go and test out Revenants. I haven't tried them since they updated them a little while back. Part of the plan was once I got 2,000 total, I was going to head over there and see exactly how it is. I've heard they've nerfed it pretty hard, but I'm thinking in a 2k total world, we should be pretty safe. And I want to see exactly how much gold it is per hour. 
<laughs> oh my god, what the hell. I just finished the recording. That was the fourth Revenant kill, and we already have a 500k emblem. Uh, that's, that's a pretty good start. We've killed about five Revenants. And we have 700k, so I'm gonna leave real quick. I don't know what's going on with this RNG, but I ain't gonna complain. Quick intermission to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And also, this is a clip from one of the mass events I hosted over Christmas. Enjoy. Twisted Buckler! Oh no, that is not the right twisted item we want to see. Will go boom. That's my fifth. <laughs> I am going to be seeing how much loot I can get in the next hour of doing the Revenants. So we'll come back once this hour is done. It will do a price check and we'll see how much money we get. And then I would like to do one for 10 hours as well and see exactly how much money on average I'm going to make. Ooh, I am almost certain that that is very rare drop table right there. Free U seeds. You used to be able to get nine or 12 magic seeds, I think. It's only 170k, but I think that's really rare. We killed a total of 78 Revenant Cyclopses and 83 Revenant Demons. We used roughly 1,000 Ephra because we were collecting Ephra with the bracelet the entire time. So minus in 160k from the 2 mil that we just made, we made over 1.8 mil in one hour of doing the Revenants, which to be honest, it doesn't seem terrible, but considering that I do risk quite a lot if I do die and I lose a lot of Ephra, when you compare this moneymaker to say Zora and Vorkath, I think it's safe to say that those moneymakers are going to be better than killing revenants now that we've done an hour of revenants i think it's only fair that we go and do ourselves an hour of zora and an hour of vorkath i'm going to be comparing and seeing how good these money makers are in comparison to doing the revenants this is going to be the gear and setup the dragon hunter lance we will be million the boss and we are going to be taking dragon claws for our spec weapon i think this is going to work out pretty well officially one hour of vorkath has been completed no skelly visage unfortunately let's have a look at how much loot we made free 0.22 mil with two deaths. I forgot how good Vorkath was. That's that's pretty goddamn good. And that's with melee as well. I'm pretty sure that range is faster kills, e.g. more profit per hour. But still, even with melee, that's three mil an hour. Ten hours of that, you got 30 mil. We're going to try the range setup now with the Dragon Hunter Crossbow, the Dragon Fire Ward, and the Void, which is something I've never used at Vorkath before, but is the best in slot. It's going to be very interesting to see how much GP an hour this is compared to the melee method. One hour of range Vorkath complete. Fortunately, we did actually die twice this run. I'm not quite used to using the range setup, to be perfectly honest. I do occasionally plank. 27 kills, 3.3 mil. I think if we didn't die those two times, we would probably have 30 kills. So it'd probably be around about 3.5 to 3.6 mil. The time starts now. Let's see how much money we make from an hour of Zora. 2.9 mil and we got 29 kills in one hour. No rare uniques. That's pretty good. That's actually not too bad. As you can see, we've slightly changed the gear. We are no longer using the Void. We are using the d with the Armadillo Hammett, the Twisted Bow, and we will be using the Toxic Blowpipe to regain HP. This method will cost significantly less than the last one. And let's see how it compares. The hour is up. We have 45 seconds remaining. Not going to be able to get a kill in that time. Managed to get 25 kills with the Tebow and the Blowpipe only. And as you can see, 2.4 mil. So that's 500k less than we got from using the full gear setup. And 4 kills less overall in the hour. But goddamn, we saved some supplies. <laughs> For those 4 kills, I think on supplies, it's probably a no-brainer. It is that time to renew the bond. The bonds right now are ridiculous. 6 million gold for 14 days membership. Absolutely rip. Now that we've tested the Revenants, Vorkath, and also Zora, I say it's time now to do 10 hours of Revenants and see exactly how much money we get. Considering you can get yourself the big statuette, one of which is worth 15 mil, including the PvP weapons, I want to go see if we can get anything in 10 hours to get a real idea for how much money we'll be looking at. The time starts now 10 hours of revenants coming up how much loot do we have on us this trip one mil in the looting bag and a few extra 100k in the inventory not bad at all during the 10 hours of killing revenants not a whole bunch of stuff really happened we did get attacked quite a few times from various different pkers sometimes i would get away with hours of seeing nobody and then some hours i would get attacked three or four times 
it was pretty random, but I imagine that if I was in a regular world, I would probably see a lot more PKers. Tanking at the Rev Caves in the 2k world is pretty easy. If you do manage to get into trouble and you get a full TB'd, all you have to do is tank to the Hobgoblins. I never saw a group of people bigger than two, so it's very easy to get them boxed off and then just tell you away. I did manage to get myself an ancient totem during the 10 hours. It was the only statue out I got in that time period. The second cheapest, but I mean, it's an extra mil anyways, so I'm not gonna complain. Probably the funnest thing about doing Revenants was I actually had my main logged up at the Revenants the entire time, ready to PK. So whenever somebody came and attacked me, if I was able to, I would log in on my main and I would give them a good fight. A lot of the people that come here are expecting to kill helpless PVMers. So it was really fun to actually fight them back. Here we go, boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. This was one of the few people that I actually saw with backup. And when I logged in, this guy threw the Insta TB on me. But with the Revenants, if you're in combat with somebody, you can't get PJ'd off. See ya! There's something so satisfying about killing somebody who was trying to kill a PVM or, you know? My god, it feels good. How much did we just get from that kill? <laughs> 1.8 mil in the uh in the looting bag that's a solid two mil pk right there chaps we did manage to get one more kill during the 10 hours unfortunately it's not this one this guy just got his protect melee on just in the nick of time it was this guy who actually attempted to dh bomb fat checks <laughs> The classic. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. We got 18 minutes left. And I'm pretty sure that's rare drop table. God damn it. We have 10 seconds left on the clock. Fortunately, we can't hop worlds right now because the worlds are so laggy whenever I hop. The 10 hours is up and I think it's time now to go and do a bank check. This is all the loot that we managed to get from 10 hours of killing revenants. We're gonna sell all of this off and we're gonna see how much money we made. And for those of you wondering, I put 2,000 effort in the cruel's bow at the start of this, which I've now uncharged and sold back. I never had to buy any more effort, just the revenants alone and collecting it with the bracelets. I was able to fully charge the Cruel's Bow and I have 5.6k effort remaining. Let's see what this is worth. 19 mil and 300k. Meaning on average we would have got about 1.9 mil per hour. Which honestly isn't too bad. It's not terrible. We only managed to get ourselves the one ancient totem and also the two U seeds that you guys saw. So considering we didn't get any good statues and we didn't manage to get anything crazy, we pretty much got the bog standard loot. 19.3 mil, 1.9 mil an hour on average. Not including supplies, which to be honest with you, divine ranging pots aren't really worth a ton. I also didn't die in the 10 hours, which is definitely a factor which is gonna vary person to person. 1.9 mil, it's not awful. It's it's not crazy good either. Zora is hands down significantly more money per hour with zero risk at all. And that's not even including the rare uniques and also the chance of getting a pet. Vorkaf is just on a completely different level. And I'm actually going to sell off the tab right now. Everything that I have inside of here which I've been collecting. So all the Zora kills, all of the Vorkav kills, the Barrow's loot and so forth. And also I did manage to get myself a plate skirt and D legs from doing Vorkav. So we're gonna sell this tab and see how much cash we make from this. That's all the loot sold, including the room pouches from the last one standing we do occasionally. All of the scowls, all of the superior bones. And we have ourselves a whopping 28 million gold. We didn't even do 10 hours of Orc, Half, and Zora combined. So considering we made 19 mil from our Revenant tab, I think it's fair to say that it's probably not a very good money maker compared to those two. Now that we have a very nice cash stack, it is time to make some very big upgrades. Starting with something that I was debating about getting for a very long time. The Blade of Saldor. Reason I was debating getting it, I'm only going to be using it until I can afford my own scythe. I don't really want to be selling any of this gear until I get the scythe. So I need to make myself 700 mil in order to get it. And that means that we're going to be using the blade for a very long time. It's also going to allow me to do a lot of TOB with a very efficient weapon. Slightly better than the Abyssal Tentacle. And also, with the shards I'm going to be using on it, it will not be degrading. So it's going to be more efficient. It's going to be better. Just overall, this site 
Titan will reign superior over the Abyssal Tentacle. And there it is. Make Blade of Saldor C. Thousand Crystal Shards. The amount of gauntlets I've done, and this is how many I have. Yes, please. And there it is. The Corrupted Blade of Saldor. <laughs> oh, look at how epic that looks. My goodness, this thing looks awesome absolutely vicious that is very nice i didn't know i had better stats than the whip as well plus three but the main reason we're getting this is for this lovely slash bonus right here that looks absolutely sick now that we have the blade i think it's only fit we head over to tob we see just how good this thing is god i, I absolutely love it look at it oh it looks so good and that will conclude episode nine of making max cash starting with the Twisted Bow. After testing the Revenants for a total of 11 hours, I think it's fair to say that it's probably not worth doing. I know that Jagex did need to tweak the Revenants simply because it was being taken advantage of, and I think that just separating and moving the Revenants as they have right now without nerfing the loot table probably been enough in my opinion. So if any of you guys were wondering if you should go and kill the Revenants now, if you're a Max main that's effectively able to kill Vorkath or Zora, unless you're looking for a bit of variety or you're trying to get the pvp weapons don't on the plus side we have managed to make some nice unlocks in this video including the 2k total worlds and the blade of saldor which i will be putting to good use with all of that being said i do hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you leave it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new to the channel and i will see you very soon